At the Rockefeller Christmas tree lighting last night, a noticeably absent face from the NBC family with Matt Lauer now gone. The New York Times reporting more disturbing accusations involving the disgraced morning show anchor. One former NBC employee telling the Times of an encounter in 2001 where Lauer allegedly summoned her to his office, locked the door, and then sexually assaulted her. She says she passed out and woke up on the floor of his office with her pants down and had to be taken to a nurse. This is as big as it gets. It's the biggest um, scalp in terms of this national reckoning over alleged and in some cases uh, admitted sexual misconduct. Similar accusations in a new cover story by Variety magazine saying a two-month investigation revealed three women at NBC had similar complaints and had reported them to NBC staff. One says Lauer gave her an adult toy as a present. It included an explicit note about how he wanted to use it on her. He also allegedly summoned a different female employee to his office and dropped his pants and reprimanded her for not engaging in a sexual act. I think you can understand why the women felt like they couldn't come forward without facing repercussions for their career. NBC says it was given a detailed complaint of inappropriate sexual behavior by Lauer on Monday night when a female employee reported the incident to human resources alongside her attorney. The alleged behavior is said to have taken place while Lauer, a 59-year-old married father of three, was covering the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi, and it continued after the games were over. NBC says the account given to them Monday was the first complaint about Lauer's behavior in the more than 20 years years he had been with NBC News. And Lauer has not given any comment about the allegations since his termination yesterday. We're live this morning outside of Rockefeller Center. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. Okay.